Welcome back. As if we didn't already have enough to talk about with a, an excessive heat warning set to go into effect here in the valley, we are now just getting reports of an earthquake not too far from us in California. A meteorologist Justin Bruce joining me now. Justin, this literally just broke, seeing a lot of chatter on Twitter. What can you tell us about uh, the magnitude of this earthquake and, and where the epicenter may be? Yeah, well, initially I saw 4.5 magnitude, Ross, and this is in Southern California up in the San Fernando Valley. So really populated, like almost 2 million people live in the San Fernando Valley, which of course is just to the north of the LA Basin. And you can see exactly where this is now a depth of uh, six miles underground, but yeah, initial reports of a 4.5 magnitude earthquake. You know, if you're from California, you think, all right, okay, yeah, we've we've had a lot stronger, and that's true. But supposedly, uh, a lot of folks felt it out in Southern California first thing this morning. So there you go. There's your earthquake report. Now we pivot into the heat. That's how we do it here in the desert. We've got an excessive heat warning in place today, tomorrow, and Saturday. You know, you'll want to reschedule activities. Obviously, hydrate. I mean. The general rule of thumb is you need to drink one and a half times your body weight in ounces of water. So for guys like me and Ross, it's going to be a little more than 64 ounces of water. Just make sure you're, you're keeping ahead of that hydration curve. Take breaks in the shade and the air conditioning and uh, check on pets and neighbors. You know, no one needs to be outside. Uh, your pets need to be inside in the air conditioning just like you. 86 right now at McCarran. Uh, a tolerable 79 out in Boulder City, so it's not a bad morning. Uh, we are going to suggest getting the dog walk in before 9 a.m. As wow, look at that 10 a.m. temperature, 98 degrees. The sidewalk will burn your little puppy paws and burn your bare feet if you're out there after about 9:30 this morning. Now, through the afternoon, the heat is obviously on. Uh, we will be near 110 mid to late afternoon. I think temperatures will peak around 111 here in the city. 112 in North Las Vegas, 115 in Overton Valley. Great little corner of Clark County, the Overton Valley, but uh, it's a little lower in elevation, which is why it's a little hotter. Laughlin doing the same thing at 118. If you are outside by the pool, don't forget the UV index is very high, so you need the sunscreen and plenty of pollen out there, mainly grass pollen. Uh, the evening planner, well, as hot as it's going to be today, not a lot of heat relief, at least not right away. It'll be 10 or 11 p.m. until we can drop back into the 90s and lows after midnight, only dipping to the mid 80s. Desert Doppler, quiet. Here's future cast, no rain to tell you about. You know, this big hot ridge of high pressure. We are watching Tropical Storm Isaias. Uh, we will keep you posted on that track. Doesn't look to increase to hurricane strength, but South Florida could be impacted by the weekend. Ross will be impacted by the heat. We are above 110 today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, still at 110 on Monday.